power scaling Rick C-137. First, let's get this smaller feet out of the way. Rick's spaceship is powered by a universe. His battery for a spaceship is literally a universe, which he created also in one of these comic runs. Rick was unhappy about a presidential election, so he said he's going to nuke the entire universe. Rick also created a toaster, which he was able to harness infinite power from. He's also built other devices, which he's able to erase an entire timeline with the click of a button. In the Vat of Acid episode, he was able to pause time at a singular moment and split up those events causing new realities to be born. And he did this infinitely. He also should logically upscale above the space dinos in some aspects, who were able to effortlessly seal up the hole in space and time left by Abel Morty after he destroyed the Citadel of Ricks. He also beat the hell out of Schlemmy Pants. This is a 4D being who's beyond space and time. And now Rick by himself realistically should scale above this. As he didn't do this through gadgets or hacks, he literally just beat the crap out of him. And also, if we are taking producer statements, Ryan Riley, the producer for Rick and Morty seasons 1 through 3, confirmed that Rick could destroy the entire multiverse if he put his mind to it which contains infinite universes and timelines, possibly even much higher levels of existence as well, off the Shlemmy Pants statement. Rick should realistically scale to around multiversal, and if you are taking the Shlemmy Pants statement as legitimate and he was able to combat Shlemmy Pants, someone beyond space and time, he should arguably have a measurable speed. Although you can debunk the speed department. 